Hey, how's everybody doing? Mike here, Gen X Arcade. If you're running a mini PC similar to this one, you may have to change a security boot up setting and an auto boot up setting to get your computer to work. So if you turn it on and you're getting this message, I'm going to show you how to fix that. First thing we need to do is shut this down. So we're going to go ahead and hit the power on the PC. Make sure that's off. Now we do need to take power from it as well. So shut off your main power. Wait about 30 seconds before turning it back on. Now make sure you have a keyboard plugged in. I've already got this plugged into a USB port on the mini PC. Does not matter which one you use. Now we're going to have to get into our settings. As soon as it starts booting up, we're going to just keep tapping F7. Um, not all computers are the same. Some are going to be F2, some might be F10. On this particular one, it's F7. So it's been a couple seconds. I'm going to go ahead and turn our main power back on. And now I'm going to go over here and turn the power on on the PC. And immediately start hitting F7 on the keyboard. And if we did that right, we should be into our menu. It should look something like this. All right, so now we need to get into our security settings. So you should be looking at a screen like this. And we're going to go down to setup. Enter setup. And your menu may look a little bit different. This is what I have. Now we're going to go to security. And we're going to disable secure boot. So now we're in security and we're going to scroll all the way down to secure boot and hit enter. And you're using your keyboard for all of this. So you can see secure boot is enabled. We want to disable that. So we're going to make sure that secure boot is highlighted, hit enter, and we're going to go to disabled. All right, now that's going to take care of our red warning at the beginning problem. Now we want to make sure that this PC turns on when it gets power from the main switch so we don't have to power, hit the power switch on the, on the computer all the time. So sometimes you'll see it in chip settings, but on this particular one, I know for a fact, my setting is under advanced. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, right here where it says OEM Intent Setup Configuration. I'll hit, hit enter. Now you can see here where auto power on is disabled and wake up on LAN is disabled. I'm going to enable both of those. So we're going to go ahead and enable that one. And then we're going to go down to the next one. And we're going to enable that. All right, so now your screen should look like this. Power on, enabled, wake up, on. Okay, so now we can hit the escape button to go back. And we're going to go over here to save and exit. So right here, we're going to go to Save, Changes, and Exit. And just hit Yes. Now your system should reboot automatically. It should shut down and then come right on. And there you go, our system's loading up, everything working perfectly. So that's it guys, that's how you do your security settings and your auto boot up. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to let me know, I'm happy to help. So as usual guys, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and we'll see you guys next time at the Arcade.